Greetings. This is an important planetary alignment and earthquake watch covering the New Zealand region for the time frame of August 8 through August 14, 2018. With significant planetary geometry as well as planetary alignments of Earth, Mercury, Sun and the important supermoon the following day, August 10, as well as a partial solar eclipse just 14 hours later, all indicate a heightened potential for a significant earthquake for the South Pacific Islands or the New Zealand mainland reaching a potential 6.6 .6 magnitude. There are important astronomical events taking place during the month of August. As mentioned, Mercury reached inferior conjunction on August 9 and the lunar perigee taking place just the following day. If that's not enough, just 14 hours later there will be a partial solar eclipse. Now we do have strong planetary geometry. Venus will be trying Mars or 120 degrees on August 8. August 10, Venus will be squaring Saturn or at 90 degrees and Mercury will be also at 90 degrees with Jupiter on August 11. This is significant planetary geometry and the heightened risk for very strong earthquakes is possible during this time frame. It is worth mentioning that the Moon will reach its third nearest point of its orbit of the Earth for the entire year. That will still be classified as a supermoon. Now these supermoons are important and when they are clustered together with the important Earth-Mercury-Sun planetary alignment, there tend to be strong earthquakes across the New Zealand mainland and also just north of New Zealand through the Kematic Trench. It is worth mentioning that five of the last ten earthquakes registered over 6.2 magnitude for the New Zealand mainland since 2007 all have the same symmetry between the Earth-Mercury-Sun planetary alignment working at close proximity of the important supermoon or lunar perigee. Now we'll get the important planetary alignment information. As we know, just one geocentric planetary alignment taking place, but it is an important one where Sun, Earth and Mercury will be aligning on August 9, just a day prior to the supermoon. Now this is a significant time frame for the New Zealand mainland as several past earthquakes have registered in the New Zealand mainland with this same symmetry. So I'm concerned of a very strong earthquake registered over 6 magnitude, highly possible during the month of August. We're now looking at the important lunar perigee and lunar apogee information, specifically isolating the key points of the direct overhead longitudinal position of the Moon at the time of both of these events. We know that the Pacific Ocean will be highlighted during the month of August. Specifically, Central and South America will be highlighted during lunar perigee or supermoon and the lunar average will have a very strong signature over the South Pacific Ocean which may indicate strong shaking for the regions for the month. Now looking at the important lunar declinations which will be taking place on the 8th and 22nd of the month. We have a very strong profile over the Pacific Ocean again and also Central America which does further emphasise the potential for a strong shake for one of these regions for the month. New Zealand and possibly Alaska could see strong shaking in the first half of the month and the second half of the month could see strong shaking for Central, North and South Americas. The New Zealand mainland is sitting above two major tectonic plates, the Pacific and also the Australian plates running east-west across the top end of the South Island New Zealand. Now in November 2016 the magnitude 7.9 earthquake that struck Kaikoura was quite unusual. Not only was it epicentered on the Pacific plate side of New Zealand but all aftershocks that occurred thereafter seem to have migrated through into the Australian plate side of New Zealand which is highly unusual. It is worth noting that this very large magnitude 7.9 earthquake that struck New Zealand also occurred on the exact date of the supermoon in 2016. I'll now be specifically isolating four regions for the New Zealand mainland which may be affected during the time frame from August 8 through August 14, 2018 and the number one area of concern would definitely be an aftershock for Kaikoura and stretching up north into the Cook Strait. This would be the key area of focus. The second area of concern would be around Christchurch and surrounding regions stretching up towards Pegasus Bay. This would be a concern as this is a highly populated area of New Zealand. The third area of concern would be the base of the South Island New Zealand. Specific areas on note would be Milford Sound, Queenstown or the Fiordland region. And the fourth and final area of concern would be stretching from the Cook Strait into the North Island New Zealand with key areas of focus would be Marsterton, Levin, Wellington and also the regions of Palmerston North. In summary the month of August could be quite significant in terms of shaking for the New Zealand mainland and I'm expecting it to produce the strongest earthquake for the year 2018. Especially the second week of the month could be quite busy and I'm expecting at least one or two earthquake registered over 5 magnitude with a potential of one earthquake registered as high as 6.5. There's also a potential for a strong earthquake across the South Pacific Islands as well but I'm really concerned about New Zealand getting a fairly strong shake. 
and that concludes this important planetary alignment and earthquake watch covering the New Zealand region for the time frame of August 8 through August 14, 2018. For more information, please visit solarwatcher.net with the more content for members and subscribers, as well as website newsletters. Annotations and results of this watch will be added at the end of the video. Thanks for watching.